All right, for all you leaders out there and parents, I want you to think about something for a second. Think about the last time your direct report or say your child came to you with a problem or a challenge. What was your immediate reaction? Did you jump in and solve the problem for them, give them the answer? Or did you help them come to the conclusion to solve the problem or challenge themselves? I believe that great leaders and parents help coach and support their team and their children into coming up with answers and solutions so they can grow and evolve. Welcome to another edition of the Learn It All podcast, where great leaders aren't born or made, they're constantly in the making. I'm your host, Damon Lemby, and I'm also the CEO of Learn It, a live learning platform that has upskilled over 2 million individuals over the past 30 years. In today's episode, we're gonna be discussing the difference between a coach and somebody who I'd like to say is a dictator. And I think this is critical for your team's success if you ever wanna scale and grow. Let me start off with a story. I remember 20 years ago, I accompanied one of my top sales reps to our first customer meeting. Now the story I'm gonna share with you is a sales related story, but it could be at any department. Here's what happened. I walked into this meeting with, a, with my sales rep who's brand new, and we sat down with a client for the very first time. The sales rep's only been out learning it, let's say for a month, and was really green. We prepped before the meeting. We kind of went over what was gonna happen, what was gonna take place. And when we sat down, the meeting completely went haywire. But instead of jumping in and correcting her, what I did was I sat back, I slightly corrected when necessary, but for the most part, she ran the meeting. The meeting actually ended up going pretty well, not because she presented perfectly, but because we were able to build a connection with the customer. And after the meeting, when we left, and I think this is super important, we sat down and we debriefed. I said, hey, what went well? What could you have done differently? And gave her a lot of learning opportunities. Mike Weinberg talks about this in his fantastic book, Sales Management Simplified. Don't be a hero. You're never gonna get your team to grow if you jump in and do all the work for them. I wanna share another example. Courtney Ritchie on my team, our Director of Learning Services, is fantastic. She's one of the smartest people I know. And early on in her career, when she started managing people, she had a habit of jumping in and getting frustrated and just solving questions and answers for people. But after a while, she realized that by doing so, it just put more work on her. And this really reminds me of a conversation I had with Chris Dyer on an episode of the Learn It All podcast. Chris said when he was running his company and they got to about 200 people, it was hard for them to scale because he had all the answers right? Everything would stop until Chris came up with the solution. He realized with this happening, he couldn't scale. So kind of like the Taylor Swift song, it's me, I'm the problem. He, in this case, was the bottleneck. And so he came to realization, which I think a lot of great leaders do, is that if you want to grow and scale, you need to support your team in doing so. You need to allow them, if they come to you with questions, instead of jumping in and saying, hey, do this, this, and this, ask them, what do you think we should do? Have them think it through. And even if you have ideas, maybe even frame your questions so they can come up with answers that help support what might be the best for your organization. Or if it's something that's not gonna, you know, blow up the organization, just allow them to go for it. Say, you know what, I trust you, do the best you can. And if things fail as a leader, take ownership for it. Hey, don't worry about it. Let's talk about what we did wrong, where can we learn, what can we do next time. When you do this, when you give people the autonomy to try and do things, they're gonna get pumped up and they're gonna wanna to come to you all the time with solutions and ideas. If you don't, if you jump in and you solve everything themselves, then why hire great people? Because you're stunting their growth. It makes no sense. So give people the opportunity for learning and growth. And if they fail, if they make mistakes, and sometimes you can even celebrate mistakes. And the best way to celebrate mistakes is being honest and vulnerable as a leader. A lot of times if I mess something up, I'll shoot an email to the team or on a call, I'll say, I really messed this up, you know, does anybody have have an idea how to make this better or do it differently. And by having a culture like that, where you lead by being vulnerable and showing people that, hey, we're humans and we make mistakes, it's gonna energize people. They're gonna buy in to your work, to your company, and they're gonna look at it like that you're giving them growth and future opportunities throughout their career. And by doing so, this is one of the best ways to scale. You need great people and you need to give them clear direction and let them try things, okay? Nothing's gonna be perfect that's how you grow and evolve. So to recap, if you wanna build great future leaders, and if you wanna take some of the work off your plate, you gotta learn how to not jump in and be a hero. When people come to you, take a deep breath, have patience, hear them out, and help coach them to answering questions and problems. I promise you, if you do so, you build an incredibly strong team with a bunch of motivated individuals. They're gonna to come to you with great creative and innovative ideas, and they're gonna be bought in and help drive future success of your organization. I hope you found value in our episode today, and if you did, do me a favor, please tell a friend, 
rate and review. It goes a long way for us. And until next time, stay curious and keep growing. Have a good day.